Well, deja vu of a couple of weeks ago at Peters Hill Park, but this time it's SWPL action as Glasgow City face Hamilton Academical. It was a 4-0 win for City a fortnight ago. Since that cup game, City went to score four more goals against Spartans in a midweek league game, and then that 8-1 win away against Dundee United. They have been ruthless since the restart after the Christmas break. Ahead of a match against Rangers next Sunday where points have been dropped by the other top two. So they need to keep their business going and picking up three points. More than they're holding up. Ball whipped in there. Right there. Keep it alive there is Kozak. Prade is deflected and tipped away. But it's going to be a goal for Priscilla Chinchia. Just over two minutes played. And well, she was back from injury off the bench last Sunday. Getting minutes to the legs this Sunday. And it didn't take her long to get her back on the scoring streak. A fizzing strike there. It stung the tips of the fingers of Chloe Nicholson, but Chinchilla was there to pop up with goal number five of the seasonal competitions, and it's a welcome back to Brazil and Chinchilla. Fully white here for Davidson. Flash cross, Chinchilla's there again! Goodness me, welcome back. It's Glasgow City at their devastating best again since the restart. That's Priscilla Chichia at her devastating best. After seven minutes, it's 2 0 already. What a ball in from Davidson. And there she was at that back post to finish superbly. Cool from Clark. That wasn't so cool from Prades though. McIntosh with the strike, but safely taken by Lee Gibson. There was not too many mistakes last Sunday, but that one loose moment led to Dundee United scoring. At a time that made it 2 1. A similar point in the match we're at now, after City's flying start last week too. That danger averted that time. Kozak, long it goes here for Davidson, wheeling in the middle, Davidson goes herself, it's beaten away, here's Kozak flying in, and there's the reflection to take it over the bar. A fizzing secondary effort from Canada Kozak after Davidson's great work. But the defending flailing body, helping that away to keep it at two for now. Lauder to take, Clark coming in, easy! One of the easiest of the season for Jenna Clark. Safely at home. In the 18th minute. Perfect area. Completely free from any sort of defensive marking. And Bosch. Foley. That's Ball down and McIntosh losing that. Here's Davison. Low driven shot. Powerful shot. Well met by Nicholson. Excellent save. Dive to her right. And out for a corner. Good hands from the goalkeeper. Corner to follow. Other side. Half hour on the clock. Haley Water to take. Might bounce back in Water's direction. Does. Full eight. Wheeling, clipping in, Clark there for another one! <laughs> Wonderful team play. And two for Jenna Clark in the first half. As Hamilton couldn't clear the lines and that excellent floaty ball in. Nonchalant, not a cross by Wheeling. And Clark was the one to just finish off the terrific move. Walsh. 
Well, it's been left about, and Chinchilla roaming in. That's a good save. There's Whelan this time, but that's going to go wide. Oh, another good chance here to add a fifth goal. Chinchilla just managed to let the ball count her effectively and let her run. Keeper came out to make it difficult and met the shot. Whelan difficult on the bounce. Chinchia picking up and wheeling, continuing to run. Knocked out by Hay. To the final minute of this first half of the regulation time. Chinchia on the turn. Oh, goodness me, what an effort. Brilliant save, though. A Chinchia classic move on the turn and away. The strike, but met by Nicholson really well. Whelan looking to spin him in the turn. That's been missed by everyone in white and red, and Davidson will keep this alive here. Lauder and Chinchi in the box, Whelan too. Cut back for Whelan this time! And she's on the board now! A couple of good chances in the first half, but a ferocious finish in the first 60 seconds of the second half. And Sydney continue with the first half, left off by scoring goals. Tremendous bit of play down that far side, missed by the defenders, gap for Davidson, ball across, Whelan continues into that box, perfect position to slot home. Lauder then with the delivery up off Coakley's head. Davidson with control and Raspin shot on the turn. Oh, it's been spilled, but the flag is going to go up there. Abby Grant is coming in, but the flag goes up. I'm not entirely sure if it was against Grant. I think it might have been against Sarah Gibb who was there. She left the ball. Grant and he's followed up and scored. The flag was already up anyway before Grant came in. That was certainly one to have a conversation about if it was for Giv, who could well have been offside, but disrupting the goalkeeper. Yeah, that's another argument too. Hard to tell from the one live viewing. And lost here by Kozak. Now Giard's got a good bit ahead of me, but look at the closing down of uh, Kozak and about four orange players around. Ran out of space eventually. Here's Molly Thorpe. Wrong here for Evans. And the flag goes up. The ones are coming together with Gibson. Gibson put her hands up pretty quickly and then the player went over after. So then it was offside, but I think the refs booked Lee Gibson for the the, the challenge for being late, but it was offside, so that's highly unusual. Now Davidson driving. Fully across here. Oh, Kozak on the spin and turn. And the finish. Well, another performance of real work ethic proportions from Kenya Kozak. And she's got a goal for it this time. Nice play from Davidson. And it just didn't sit for Hamilton to clear. Play for uh, Kozak to find the little gap and slot it really well home. And there is at least one final moment for this man, Sachia, late in the game, a sixth goal. Gerard stuck down in the corner. Molly trying to find a bit of help. That'll be a goal that I'm just trying to think any way possible to get a corner but not to me for Hamilton another heavy defeat and it's Glasgow City six goals at PSL Park job was done at half time Pacelton Chia back real injury back starting again 
and two goals into seven minutes. Jenna Clark scoring twice from corners. Nice safe footy finish for the third and a second phase, which was guiding the home for number four. Emily Whelan within the first minute of the second half. A terrific, ferocious finish for five. And then it was that added gloss at the end. Tanya Kozak's hard work being paid off with a goal in the last couple of minutes of time. All eyes will move on to Broadwood next Sunday. And a top of the tail clash against Rangers in the SIPL. Big focus on that, but job done here this afternoon with a six goals to nil victory.